So it's about six o'clock on um, Thursday, May 18th. Welcome to the regularly scheduled select board meeting. Uh, I'm going to call the meeting to order. Uh, first thing is set adjust agenda. I know that we want to add uh, an item six, I guess, to review the um, Sherry. Review the oh the proposal from SE Group for Phase Two for Bridge and Park. Yeah, or we, we may be able to deal with it in in the town manager report because he has it on the bottom. His reference to it. All right, let's but I want let's do it as an item. Yeah. Uh, uh, what else do we have? That's the thing. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. All right. Um, uh, okay, so could we have a motion? motion to uh, approve the amended agenda. Second. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries, so we have a adjusted amended agenda. Communication from the audience, anybody here to speak to us about anything that's not on our agenda? I, I forgot something that I'd like to talk about. Great, could you state your name, please? I'm Ken Leverell, <coughs> so those that don't know me. Uh, I'm also the president of our local ATV club, uh, Caledonia All Terrain Travelers. Um, I have been out of the loop club-wise for a couple of years. Um, what I brought today is a road, road use application, and what we're asking for is from where our trailhead is, and I do have a picture. What's the name of that little store down there? I always call it Corner Store. Everybody calls it. Okay, is that what everybody else called it? From the Corner Store um, up to Wild Town. I'm 14. Yeah. I'm Route 14. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. To, the okay. to be able to use that stretch of highway up to Donum Sets, where the trail, where our ATV trail, which is at that point adjacent to the rail trail. Yeah. So I was asked to bring this here yeah. to the select board, and I don't know what to do with it now. That's you. Uh, you can. Yeah, I got no idea. Can we can bring it to us and we can... I, yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm looking like for a signature. Oh, you just need a signature? I'm looking for a so signature. So what they're not, they want to be able to do is use the state highway. Right. From the trailhead I get it. to the rail trail because they can't use the rail trail any longer. For that section. Um, right from That connector. Right. But do we authorize this use for the state we, highway? We don't authorize it, but the select board needs to support it. Oh, it's a letter of support. Yeah, sure, we've already signed it. Am problem. I allowed to? Yeah. I, I don't know how this all works. These cost five dollars. Yeah. Five dollars. 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 And Do we need to also have this be an item for them to see, like an agenda item? We don't need, trans? no, no, that, that is, is required. So, so by, in our picture, we, we did this. Probably. If we sign this, we are not we authorizing it, we're supporting their application to do it. Is yes. that right? Is that they, right? We don't have the authority, it's state authority. That's what I thought, yeah. this is state road. But the state wouldn't do it without the support of the select. Okay. Uh, we want to see the everybody understand where it is, or it's basically from going on the rail trail to behind the yellow barn to the state highway in front of the barn. Right, moving that. Which I am not advocate for the ATV association, but it's it's, the old, it's pretty silly to share that whole section of trail. Right, that's not the. We did it before for for this section up here, right? Yeah, but now it's now that it's official. There's no shares here. So you used to use the rail trail, and Correct. now you can't. Correct. Okay. Right, and actually that all shows on here almost. So their intersection so is here. Been, they used that. to just go like this. Yeah. They, but now they're going right. to go like that. Yeah. Do you want to do an agenda item for next time? That's my only question. Is if we are seeking permission? Well, I'm the minute. Minute. I mean, okay. so I know what it is. So not everybody, but you guys might not all understand it. But 
Is this a time sensitive document? Is there a deadline for this? We, we would like to get it as soon as possible um, to open that trail, um, to be able to access that particular loop from that direction instead of having to do an entire loop. Uh, we're fortunate enough in Hardwick to have like three little loops, so it makes for, it's, it's approximately 43 miles of trail, nice relaxing trail. So it'd be nice if we could use that stretch of highway. Pretty to, confident you're going to see side by side using that stretch of highway, whether it's open or not. If we open it, then there'll be signage and enforcement available, but otherwise... And as for urgency, it looks oh, like... option two is going to be the rail trail, unfortunately, so... It looks like Ethan Hill signed it in December 21st of 22, so... Yeah, that might have been something that I was supposed to take care of. Or maybe when I was terminated, I didn't get that stuff done. <laughs> <laughs> you see how I roll now. Um, yeah, I, we, I know we've talked about this before, but... Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm okay I'm doing okay anything. Why don't we just sign it? Sure. Because so it, it only wants one of us. So do you want to make them? Okay. Do you want to? Some, some, I move ahead. that Eric sign this on behalf of. Um, yeah, I think board. it's a better. Uh, it's the best option for all. I was just wondering if we should authorize the town manager to take care of it from here. Like, if there's anything else we need to do. No, sign it, hand it to Ken. You be here. Um, we will. Ken will be here. So we have a motion. <laughs> In a second. I, need, I need a second. second. Okay. Um, any more discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 I would abstain due to potential legal matters. Four ayes and then one abstention. <laughs> I will sign. <laughs> you have to be determined, but about to come together. You're 18th out. today? It is. St. Helens blew right. 43 years ago. We had desperate hope. Yeah. There you go. That we were going to be able to Thank compromise you. on the trail. Right. <laughs> First short section of shared use. All right. Next is, uh, thank you, Ken. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Um, next is uh, select board to approve minutes from last time, which was May 4th. I thought the minutes looked good. Yeah, I can motion to approve the minutes of May 4th. Second. So, oh, a race to the second. <laughs> All right, Ronnie, good night, girls. <laughs> Amanda's choice. Your call, Amanda. Okay. Uh, any discussion on the minutes? I thought they'd look good. Yeah. Yeah, everybody liked them. All in favor of approving minutes as written, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Next is the town manager report. The town manager is a, is uh, doing a civic duty and coaching baseball tonight. So does he get a cut? Does he get cut? I think it does. He gets docked. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda He's takes care of that. Be a coach and do this. It's <laughs> terrible. All right. He did, however, leave us a report which I will read aloud. Okay. So um, the application was submitted for the 0% interest loan from the Vermont Drinking Water State Revolving Fund to complete the service line inventory required by the lead and copper rule. The water system was allocated $105,533 for a loan with a loan forgiveness of 102,766. We received a proposal from Alder Chen Elliott for 61,300 to complete the first phase of the project. I intend to move forward with Alder Chen Elliott for this amount. The manager's office is coordinating the work needed to upgrade the electrical service to the library with Hardwick Electric. Uh, West Church Street will be closed for a period of time, not to exceed 24 hours, so workers can dig a trench, lay electrical conduit, pour, pour in concrete for the library expansion project. Be, be so warned. Um, uh, the library project will also be closing the sidewalks located on West Church Street and North Main Streets for the foreseeable future. Please stay out of the construction zone and watch for heavy machinery in the area. Be warned again. True Line Land Surveyors uh, has reached out and we have reserved them for the spring of 23. We're in the spring of 23 to do mm -hmm. to survey the town's Cary Road property. I've located the 1988 survey of the property, which does not include the new Dollar General boundaries. Is this something the select board wants to continue to pursue to move forward in a direction with the development of that property? Yes. 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 Yep. 
Let the record show that the select board says yes. Unanimously. <laughs> yes, sir. We that already when you did Dollar General. Well, Dollar General did, but Dollar General did theirs and did, you know what I'm saying? They, they did their theirs. At the same time, and they were any type of surveyors. But. Yeah, I don't know what the case is. It sounds like it's not complete. Yeah, I know where the not pins are. Yeah. You can see the pins, but it's still not the same as having a survey of record deal. You know what I mean? That would be helpful I think if, I we wanna, if we want to if we want to move to Tommy down there. Well, I mean, in order to do dollar general layout, they had to locate yes. their pins on property, you know, on Patton's property. Yeah, so yeah. The whole property sir, should have been surveyed. Yeah, yeah. Then you can see the pins; they're all marked out yeah. clearly. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but anyway. there's no. But you can talk to him about that. <laughs> I think we just need to get, get it. it done. Yeah. Yeah. Our community development coordinator and I, uh, meaning David Upson, will be meeting with SE Group on May 24th to discuss their phase two proposal of the bridge and park project. This proposal includes the final design plans, obtaining necessary permitting, and preparing to go to bid for construction for the bridge. Tracy Martin and I will get a better understanding of the next steps of the project and what we will need to bring to our funders to allow us to proceed. So, because we don't have... Um, continue on item six. <laughs> yes, to be continued on item six, thank you. Yeah? It'd be great to get a library update at some point. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we could ask Diane to... Sure. Somebody yeah, we could ask the, the library to. Yeah, it's a great idea. To what? To provide an update about where they are. The library. Yeah. At some point. The library is here. Construction process. Yeah, but they're breaking. It's a big deal. Breaking ground. Yeah, Right. So that'd be nice to have a little update. We'll, we'll ask the town manager to coordinate that for a future meeting, since he's not here. He's going to have to do this. Maybe. That's right. He's going to make a to do this. I'm not coming to meet him. It's going to be close. They're obviously going to have to close the street for that water line. I wonder if there's any other. They're going to have the to close the street. The electrical line. Right. For the street. So you dumped the water the other day, right? Found the water. You know, uh, the sewer. The sewer. So they get water. Yeah. But, and the and they know where the storm water is, right? Yeah. There will be disruptions. But that'll be yeah. Those will be disruptions on North Main connecting, right? Yeah, the, the water and sewer should only uh, should only interrupt one way. Well, when they do the storm, that's going all the way across the road to the catch basin. So that's the only day that it should be inter interrupted a little bit more. Yeah. Close, close down. But uh, I know as of right now. Hoffman and Dana, and it sounds like they're starting on the 28th, 29th, um, the end of this month, for over there. Okay. Uh, do a found foundation and stuff. So electrical will probably come probably a week or two after that. Um, so they can run and backfill everything at the same, same time. And then after that, I think he said he's moving out for a little bit because you want to get away from your structures and everything else coming and stuff. Electricians today, they said their panel for that 400 a.m. service is 24 weeks out. So. Yeah, there's not a lot of site work there. There's not a lot of no, site work. No, they're not. They're doing <laughs> foundation work for now and stuff. Yeah. And, and then afterwards, it's... It's going to be a congested area tight. as far as... 29th trying. is Memorial Day. And there's not a lot of... Time. Yeah, well, it's, well, it's that week after yeah. Sherry there. That's so the, Tuesday or whatever. It'll be week. after the... Memorial Day. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just checking. Yes. That would be sad. Do we have any signs that say temporary inconvenience for permanent improvement hanging around anywhere? <laughs> People drive so fast through this town they wouldn't be able to leave. Them. All right. Yeah. So I know they're planning on hopefully all the structures and the road and stuff be all completed hopefully by the end of July. Oh. You know, with the water yep. main tap and the sewer and then the storm water going across the road. Great. So. So while you have the floor, Tom, we're gonna we're gonna slide right into the to the road foreman report. Well, uh, roads I think are in good shape right now. Uh, if anybody goes up Bridgman, it looks like it's paved from the bottom all the way to Scott Road. I think. I mean, it's pretty well hard packed and black, uh, but they are in good shape. Uh, we graded a few more roads today up towards the other end of the town. Uh, so that being said, the rest of the time has been uh, we've been hauling some winter sand back to the pit. Uh, uh, we've been trying to do some line painting. If it ever warms up, hopefully next week will be the week that we finish that. I know OP told me that we do not have to do the downtown area because they're coming back through the state is and retouch and redo everything again. 
So uh, they're, they're doing that for us. So basically our part is basically up around this, this area to get that done. Uh, we changed out the banners, we hung up the flags. Uh, supposedly street sweeper is supposed to be here on Monday. We'll, we'll wait and see. Uh, we've got a brush cut and crew coming in on Monday also, along with trying to do everything else, trying to button up from Moro Day Parade. Uh, excavator, the new one should be here Monday also. Uh, then we just got an email today, today saying that the new F550 is finally being built. That should <laughs> be started on the 29th. So when we get that, who knows? <laughs> that could be six weeks, it's two months, or whatever. But then of course it goes down to the body, and then that could be, you know, four or five months after that. You know, for six months, but. So I think it's about it. A few water on and off, a few sewer problems we've been dealing with. Uh, we've been really out a lot with the camera and stuff. Uh, like that, just a few, few other minor, minor issues and stuff. I had a request from a citizen over in East Hardwick about if it was possible to clean off the sidewalk on Brickhouse Road that's down low. Yeah, well, I'll be in the process of that right now. Just cleaning, just sweeping it? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> okay. That would be a good thing. So, just give him a room? Uh, give him a room? Yeah. No, he wants to. He wants to. He can go on the list. He wants to get a hold of the landowners up there and he wants to cut the trees all the way up through. Oh, so yeah. We kind of widen that out and then really clean it back. We okay. That sidewalk. It's really tight. Back on that property <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah. That'll so be interesting. Yeah. So, so that's in the process right now. Okay. But, yes. So, they, were, they were there just last week. You could leave a note or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, so anyway, well, I think you can go okay. to the store. <laughs> There's still no lines on the, on the road there as it comes in um, to Hardwick Street by McFeeders. Well, are those ever going to come back? Who puts those down? The state? No line on the road. Oh, so yellow lines? Yellow, line. yellow or... Yeah, the state will come through and do, do that. They, I just seen them out this week. They were painting white, white lines and stuff out. They did 14 today. Oh, okay. Usually they try to come through town for um, uh, Memorial Day weekend and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I know was it last year there was a shortage of paint. I think they were only picking certain places to do it. Mm -hmm. so. You just get what you get, really. They're actually going to come down and see the Yeah, because you can do it. Yeah, that's state. I stayed at our class and stuff like that. So we'll do Santa Rosa and up to the village and everything else. So. Oh, I do track the trail and it's worth the time. No, 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 yeah. Any other questions for Tom? No. All right, we're going to move on. I'm going to go to a fire thing because I really okay. want to thank Mike on this. this one. Uh, the fire we had over here last week, uh, Mike, he's one hell of a guy. He handled everything great for us. Took a lot of pressure off my plate. He called the right guys. He did everything good. Uh, even had an officer stay with me the whole night there and stuff so we can secure the scene until, uh, you know, all the investigators were combat and stuff. But, it was great. So. Good. You stole my thing because I was going to say, you. That's my report. So. Excellent. Yeah. So. Well, thank you. Yeah. yeah. I just want to say the thing on that same note, just watching the fire, the way they worked together, it was a real team effort. Um, the guys that showed up, everybody knew what they were going to do, and uh, it was amazing how quickly that fire had extinguished. Um, you know, I was, I was concerned at first, but after watching them, you know, I've, I've called in other resources that, like, this isn't going to go good, but uh, the teamwork was really good to watch. So. If you drive by that house, it's not obvious that there was a fire there. It was so quickly taken care of. Yeah. You're up. <laughs> I'm up. I'm going to pass. Okay. To, uh, this is Officer Joe Rossi, um, he's been with us for three years, yeah, and uh, he's just done an outstanding job, and I just want to say that, uh, um, as a matter of fact, on Tuesday, Joe was going into the schools, uh, into the elementary school, school specifically, and uh, having lunch with the kids, and uh, making good, uh, good relationships there, building great relationships there, and Tuesday, we got a call from the school asking for Joe to come back, you know, <laughs> type thing, and, 
Uh, but Joe would like to have the floor just for a minute. All right. Glad to have you. Uh, thank you. Um, three years ago, I came before you to uh, to be employed by the town, and uh, you put your trust and confidence in me to do that. And I have to say, it has been a pleasure to work for the community here and the police department in Hardwick. And I'm just not saying that. I've worked numerous places. I can tell you I've probably walked around the globe three times if you put the miles together, many tours overseas. And to paraphrase Opie, Hardwick is a nice little town. And it is. It is a nice little town. Um, now I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, due to um, some injuries I received while on active duty, I have to retire. Uh, it's not that I want them, but um, there are injuries that won't allow me to fulfill my, my duties to perform the job that I would want to do. Uh, I would want to say that working with the schools is one of my pleasures. I went down on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I had lunch with the kids. My table was never empty. Never empty. They engaged with me. It was great. I'm not a huggy person, but at the end of each, each lunch period, I'd have one or three students, one or three students come up and give me a hug before they left and went to class. That was a good heart stamp. That meant we were having a good impact. Uh, I have to give kudos to the paraeducators and the teachers and the cafeteria staff there. I had the opportunity to watch them work. They worked very hard. Um, the kids responded well. They uh, ensured discipline with the kids. Manners were taught. It was great to watch them. I will miss this Tom. Uh, I will say one of the key things um, that makes this department work is our relationship with not only what, what Chief has done, he has done some magnificent stuff, too much to list, but community policing is very important and I think Hardwick is very capable of doing a really good job of community policing. And I'll just speak for a minute and I'll get off my soapbox. <laughs> Uh, on a community policing, it's more than just, you know, see something, say something. Um, community policing also, I would like to see the town get involved with some of your legislature. Uh, there's some things that you might not like that the legislature has passed that you feel that might not be for the best for the town or for the safety of the town or the children of the town. And I think community policing also involves you speaking to the legislature about that. Uh, we can only do so much. We get people into the system once they're in the system. It's not us. It's the courts and the legislature that determine what happens. So I just wanted to say that because a lot of times we hear people say, you know, well, you let them back out. We didn't. We got them in, but that's it. But uh, with that, I just want to say thank you. I enjoyed it. I am going to miss it. I'm definitely going to miss the children. Uh, they were probably the highlight of my career here. Chief Henry has done a really good job, and I see this department going forward. He has done an excellent job of community services. Uh, he's engaged us with a lot of the programs. We have people coming to us. Um, we're able to get them involved in programs. Um, it's really a uh, small town, good community policing. And you guys got something to really be proud of. And like I said, I've been around a lot of places. And uh, I'll tell you, that Hardwick is one place I wish I, when I settled in Vermont, I wish I moved here. It's, it's an awesome town. It's Thank not you too for being late. <laughs> Pardon me? It's not too late. <laughs> yeah, no, it's late. not. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, I really appreciate your. Years of service. Seems like we benefited from, from having you around for quite a bit as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And, yeah. And especially the outreach at the schools is really important. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And that's something that at one point, that's like uh, Mike used to go there all the time with the dog and stuff. It was, it was really important. And it kind of got away for a few years. But yeah. if the kids don't use, get used to understand what the what the, what the law enforcement officer is all about, then 
They either learn the good thing or the bad thing. <laughs> You're right? All right. They're going to learn. We all know that. They're going to learn. Well, no matter what they thank you for your time here. Sorry, sorry we're losing you, but I wish you well on your future endeavors. Thank you. Yeah. Because it's my regret I have to leave. Yeah. Awesome time. You figure out what's time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. If I got a job for you. <laughs> you brought a job? Do you have more to add? Yeah. Uh, you know, I just want to thank him for his service with us. Like I say, it's just uh, uh, I have been struggling with this, you know, knowing that uh, he has to go because of health reasons and, uh, um, you know, trying to figure out a way we can still work him in there. but. You know, he's smart enough to know that uh, uh, I'll keep working him in somewhere else. <laughs> well, he's good at that. Yeah. Um, no, as far as the department, uh, other things that are going on right now, we have uh, Officer Paul Bernard is working on a, uh, uh, we've, he's really been getting into a lot of the computer crime stuff that's been going on and the fraud that starts here. Uh, he has one case now that has started, uh, uh, it was a fraud for, I think, $4,000 uh, through the wire, and that's turned into uh, a uh, national case right now, so it's going to be going, actually, across the board, international. international case, excuse me, um, you know, he's identified so far through this, uh, some of the neighborhood of 300 victims, uh, you know, throughout the United States and into Canada as well. So this is going to be a, a really big case that we're going to work with uh, Border Patrol, RCMP, and on. Um, it's just, that's the problem with a lot of these cases. You, you start with a little thing, and next thing you know, if you, if you really follow through, it uh, can develop into something much larger. Uh, so we're trying to work on a lot of the computer crime stuff here, follow up on the frauds. Um, we have uh, another note. I've ordered the uh, electric bike. So uh, Paul's been out doing a lot of the bike patrol, except uh, I don't know if we went out today or not, but uh, um, he has been out there. We're trying to get out on the ranch a little bit more. Um, same thing uh, with some of the other officers as well. But uh, I think uh, we have a lot of positive feedback from that, from the bike patrol. And we're just going to start with one electric bike, and then we'll go as fast as Tom's bike. But uh, mm -hmm. I think that's about it until we get down to the uh, item number one. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Um, all right. Next up, we have Roger Prevo from the Heart of Electric Department. Great. Well, I will be. You said you were aiming for a short meeting. Yes. I'll be short with my report. Excellent. I'll help you. Um, the uh, first item I wanted to report, which is the simplest, and I think good news to everybody, is the Hardwick um, Electric Department's putting in the EV charging station, so electric vehicle charging station, over at Hardwick Electric, and it's scheduled for the first week of next month, first week of June. Okay. So, there, there should be, there should be, it's a first step. So that's good. Uh, now to, to more dollars and cents things. They, um, I'm talking about numbers that are through March, and I know that feels like we should have April by now, but some of our numbers don't come in on our purchase power to enable us to talk about April. So um, through March, our revenues are under or below our budget level by about 10%. And what that reflects is that demand uh, is down a bit to pre-COVID levels, residentially and commercially. Industrial demand is actually trending solid. In other words, some of the growth we've had in the last couple of years hasn't stepped back down, and that's because we have some big industrial users who, who've continued to grow their businesses. So um, that sets us up now with uh, a difficult situation because our purchased power is up substantially, even above our budget. So we budgeted for it to be up, and then it's come in even a little bit higher. That was mostly in January, but even the total for the quarter has been um, $90,000, about 7% over budget so far through those three months. Um, the, the part of our power sourcing that, that works well for us, obviously, is Wolcott Hydro because that's just the cost of the upkeep and keeping it running. It's 
every kilowatt hour after we've paid that is, is free. Um, and then the H11 is, is a set price. You know, it doesn't vary with the market. So the H11 solar project and Wolcott Hydro are 13% of our energy needs through that first quarter, which is really good and gives us a little bit of a steady position. So the net of all that is that uh, even with the rate case that, that's being processed, um, we have been consuming the cash reserves we had left over from the settlement from a couple of years ago. And we've basically been subsidizing every month with those reserves. And we're now at about the end of those reserves. And so we will very much need the rate case uh, to come into place. And then we'll be funding capital projects, things like you know new trucks um, with, with financing, with debt. So we'll have some dialogue with the, with the select board about that. Um, another just point of information is that we did have an inspection by the Natural Resources Department where they go out and inspect wherever there are transformers or other equipment that have historically had PCBs, you know, the carcinogen PCBs. And uh, they did an inspection, said we were storing the equipment properly, there was no risk of leakage. So that was just a check mark saying everything's okay, which I would certainly all of us had hoped. Um, the other thing I just want to point to when I talked about purchase power costs, the other side of what we do is help new projects come online and then we have to replace some of our equipment. I mentioned the last time I was here that the transformers have both a much higher cost and switch gear panels, everything in the electrical world is, um, is up in price and out in availability. So. As you hear about people talking about new projects or speculating about what they might want to do, don't ever use the old rules of thumb. You know, if it's going to be four months or six months, whatever it used to be, everything we're finding now is it's a lot longer. And we have one example of that with the truck. You might remember we bought a new hotline truck in 2018, and we bought it for 215000 We've just been getting bids for a new truck exactly the same, not asking for any new bells and whistles or improvements. And the quote for the new truck is 375000 compared to two fifteen. The order of magnitude is just outrageous. You know? And that, that's just an example of what's the, the pressure that's out there. Um, the other thing. Yeah, isn't it crazy? And I think what's happening, it's all tied together in that there's a lot of work going on the whole electric grid. Yeah. Probably worldwide, but for all sure. The fiber, in the, all this fiber top and yeah. Equipment. Yeah. So that there's just, it's a supply demand thing. Yeah. And we kind of thought with the end of COVID, some of that supply chain price pressure would just start to ease down. And it has in many areas. You know, the cost of a dozen eggs is down now. But a truck like this, it's being driven not by COVID, but by these longer term trends. So um, the other thing, actually taking what you just said is um, fiber, just there will be a lot of work involving Hardwick Electric with, um, with supporting the whole build out of fiber. So that'll start to be a new activity. It'll probably be more than what we can handle with our own crews. And so we're looking at outsourcing and bringing in crews to support whatever work that's beyond what we can do. But basically, I'm not bringing it up as an excuse. It's more of just a confirmation that we'll do whatever's needed so that we're not, the, we're not holding it up because we're not getting fibrous. That's primarily for the CUD, for the yeah. CDK, yeah. whatever. It's everywhere. Right yeah, I know like three new startup fiber construction. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So it yeah. So we've all heard about it for years. It's it's actually comforting to know that it's really happening. Yeah, <laughs> so, right. yeah. Yeah. In a lot of places, it started happening on well. Yeah, I don't think it's coming up my road, but it gets closer. The um, that's it for the report. Are there any questions about Hardwick Electric? What we're what we're doing? I definitely have one. So if you're, it sounds the the. Um, decrease in revenues and increase in first power costs and then the increase in cost of just about everything. Mm -hmm. um, and you're still waiting, it 
sounds like, for the rate case to work its way through the... We are waiting on the rate case. What you've probably seen, if you look closely at your bill, yeah. um, there's a line item in there where the, the rate has been put in as a temporary surcharge, which we're allowed to do after filing it with the PUC. So you are doing that? So we are, but it's not reflected in these numbers because it only just took effect. Okay. Um, so that's January, right. February wasn't there at all. Okay, that's and what I was going to ask. Yeah. February. So this will provide some relief, but until it's approved, we don't know what they're going to approve. If yeah. they approve less, then we yeah, will rebate gone. it. Right. And if they're not going to approve more, that's for sure. So, so yeah, that will be an important thing to sort through. But right now, at least you're collecting that. Yes. Increased amount. Yes. So barring some unforeseen surge in costs of electricity or a big storm that is a surge in expenses, we should be in a better place these coming months, but then we need to know what the increase is, you know, where it lands. And that's still coming. Well, it used to be all good, but I gotta be honest with you, none of this sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you were excited a second ago with fiber wire. Could I ask, yes. what is this fiber wire that everybody likes? Is this a well, it's not us. We're just supporting with some line crews to get it up, but it's it's the uh, all the internet connection. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was some sort of electrical conduit. I was like, wow, how they do that? So thank you. Had a. Um, Meeting at a Heart of Electric meeting that I attended a while ago. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, worries. no worries. No. Um, there was a discussion about, I think, a discussion with someone from VIPSA about maybe entering into more long-term contracts to cover a higher percentage of the of the load. Yes. If I understood that correctly, so is that still an ongoing thing? Yeah, too? it is ongoing. And for, for other members here, you know, the way the electricity that you receive comes to us, it comes from many different sources, you know, hydro sources and a whole range of other sources around the Northeast. And each of those contracts ends at a different point in time on purpose, everything's staggered. So as the end of a contract starts to approach, we, VEPSA on our behalf goes out and starts to negotiate a substitute or an extension. And so we're kind of always in that business of looking at the next contract that either needs to be renewed or replaced. An example of one that was that BEPSA has worked to replace was we were actually a big user of Seabrook Power, and the Seabrook Power is likely to rotate to another source of power in this next round. And, uh, and that's a little bit influenced by the legislature's un uncertain posture when it comes to nuclear power, of how it's going. Oh, yeah. that's too bad. But there's uncertainty there for you, yeah. Yes, think, the rate's uncertain. Right. I, w I was thinking is more it, along Is it sustainable or not? Right, I know. Question. Right. I was thinking more along the lines of, I think the discussion that I was listening to was more along the lines of, historically, um, at least Hardwick Electric and maybe other utilities in Vermont tend to budget, like, and turn to long-term contracts for, like, just under 100% of their anticipated use in order that they weren't like on the hook to buy power they didn't need, I think was my understanding. Yeah, but you're it's, correct. So there's, it's but called then, But now it may be shifted. Ratio. Yeah. So it's a now, bit of a guesswork because yep. what you're guessing against, as I said, is what your demand is going to be. Right. And, and it's not us across the street making all this these calculations. It's actually BEPSO on our right. behalf where they have experts who do it for all the municipal utilities, but they're, they're constantly looking at our historical numbers saying, okay, what is our demand going to be in a given month in the future? And then what, what do we need to secure to cover that demand? And then do you, historically, it was a bit of coverage a little bit low, and now the attitude, if we think the open market is going to be very, very expensive, it incentivizes you to cover higher. Right. And you're better off having more contracted power than than, right. than less. But that too is a guessing game. Right. Because you, you just said your demand has been down a little bit, right? What's the market? Right. So the power that you have committed to, you you have to 
you're responsible for it. But obviously, if you don't use that electricity, you sell it back to somebody else. But at that last minute sale, you by definition have to sell it at whatever the market is. <laughs> right. Right? Right. So if the market's high, it works for you. If the market's low, it might work against you. Know, and so it's all like, So this is a continual balancing game yeah, so like the, all the time. So the dialogue you might recall was our attitude was to have a bit higher coverage so we didn't have the mm -hmm. risk of getting walloped. Right. And in New England, you often get walloped in the winter. Those peak months. Yeah. Yeah. Like January, February, right. really cold week. Okay. Where, where demand is up, right, and it exceeds what you've got contracted, so you have to go into the market and buy whatever the market's at and get some. And so, it was high this year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Hmm. So, we could talk for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, is, this is a reminder before I go, Get that's a good point. Very few people have, have decided to come to a Hardwick Electric meeting, commissioner's meeting. They are open meetings, they're open to the public. Anyone in our service area, come on in. Um, You're still meeting on Zoom? We give great credit to anybody who comes and sits through a meeting. So well, it's <laughs> different. <laughs> There's a lot to it, and I, I was a former commissioner, and. and um, yeah, it's, it's a hard thing to just pop into and, and to understand know, what's going on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Some of it more than others. You guys are still meeting on Zoom? Um, we're actually in a dual. Okay, so, so people could join either. either. This facility, we're downstairs this week. Here, and, and but people could either come physically or they can join on Zoom. Correct. And it's the something Wednesday. And when we and when we send out our warning of a meeting, mm -hmm. we, we provide the Zoom dialing information, yeah. the information and about the location and the time. And it's the something Wednesday of the month, right? Second Wednesday? I don't remember. Anyway. It's on their website. It's on the website. It is on the website. Look at the website. Okay. Yep. Very happy that it's more accessible than it's. Yeah, the website. Yeah, the website. Yeah, the website is getting better. better. We're yep. embarrassed that it wasn't. Yeah, and the meetings as well. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thanks. Well, thank you. All right. I made you. I made you go long there. <laughs> um, all right, uh, item one is select board to approve and change the traffic ordinance, specifically article seven, speed regulations, and eight penalties. Um, action needed to approve the changes to the traffic ordinance and set a date of public hearing. Um, make a yet, whoa, hang changes. on, he's got his <laughs> hand up. Can I make one minor change to this? Before oh, I my goodness. <laughs> it was brought to my attention. Yes. The citizen who lives on the one side, and I've got the speed limit incorrect there. Uh, and that should be, instead of 30 miles an hour, uh, that should be 25. 20. Yeah. Uh, Okay. What page is that? That is uh, no, there are no page numbers. Uh, what town is so that? No, 14? Oh. So it's in the bottom of the urban compact. Mm -hmm. Urban compact. Ooh. Pearl Street. Oh, no, it's the second one. Summer. Ah, there we go. <laughs> so there's a your sign is all over. Yeah, there's a sign at the at the top right at the end of the uh, cemetery going down. But there's nothing going up. So uh, it should be 25 instead of 35. It, it, 30. 25 instead of 30. Um, so that's Town Highway uh, 332 on one side of it. And all I need to do is just move that up into six place of the 25 zone. So can I make a motion to approve the changes, including the most recent to the traffic ordinance, and set a date? Yes. So, second. Second. All right. Discussion about, we've gone through this a few times already. Discussion about. We already set a date. We did June 1st, I think, prior to our meeting, but. Yeah. I think so, yeah. I'm good with that. Yes, but I don't think it will work with approving it tonight. I thought, yeah, we, 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 I thought we approved it last time, but we're approving it again. Yeah. Damn things approved. But we're approving it with a change this time. Yeah. Maybe we couldn't do it with a change. Because we don't have enough days for warning. Yeah, I guess. So let's do it June 15th. Why not? Okay. 
It's to agenda. Yeah. Okay, so hang on. We have a motion on the on the table and a second to approve these uh, changes um, to the track ordinance. So, any more discussion about that? All in favor of the changes, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries, and so we'll set a date to do a hearing um, at 5.30 p.m. on June 15th. Yes. Perfect. Sure. Yeah. Thank you, Chief. Yeah. Good work on that. Awesome. I haven't even put mistakes there. <laughs> You'll, well, we can always, they can be flushed out of the hearing, too. Yeah. Yeah. Should have Orias take a look. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Uh, all right, item two, select board to review and approve the service line inventory application for Vermont Drinking Water State Revolving Fund to be forgiven after the project is complete. So moved. Second. Uh, any discussion? We've talked about this before too, but basically the state is uh, mandating that we do an inventory to check for lead in, lead in the service lines that are going that are actually beyond our curb stop, right, Tom? It's the ones that go the into the into the residence. The residence. Responsibility to fix it. But we have to inventory it. Correct. So sounds like they're, they're providing <laughs> funds. So all right, so that's the project. Um, we, we have a motion and a second. Um, all in favor of, uh, oh wait, who's signing this? All of Is this us? Um, it's all in different That's sections though. It's right here. Eric's on the first page and then the rest of you guys are on the second. And Amanda, we need to we sign need to or we just vote it off. Okay, though. That's that. Yeah, so that's the, okay. Yeah. Okay. So finish the vote. Yes. So all in favor of um, aye of <laughs> of uh, yeah entering into this uh, application for the drinking water revolving fund. Uh, we got one eye. Any other eyes? Aye. 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 <laughs> Any opposed? Uh, Motion carries. Get you through it. I know. <laughs> so we need to sign this. Um, manager, business manager. Wait. Hang on. And all right, everybody's on this. All right, big one. Next up, item three is select board to review and agree on the terms and conditions of the municipal policies and codes MP1 for the library's VCDP grant. That's Vermont Community Development Program. Um, I strongly suspect we would need to we if we haven't already would also need to do these for the Yellow Barn VCDP grant as well because I bet they're the same. I so, make motion to approve the terms and anywhere. conditions for the municipal policy and codes for the library's VCDP grant. And the yellow lines. Well, I think that when we adopt these, then we'll have adopted them. So I think it'll cover oh, okay. this is changes to our policies. I'll second it. So we've got a motion and a second right, to, actually a policy, right? to adopt right. to yeah. To adopt these read, policies uh, and codes. Da, da, da. <laughs> yeah. Uh, any more discussion about the um, the policy changes for VCDP? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Another one for you. Keep signing, don't stop. All right. Uh, item four, a select board to review paving bids received and select a contractor for our summer paving project and authorize the town manager to execute the contract. And we had three bids. Looked like, to me like they were all competitive. They were all relatively close to each other, but we did have a clear low bidder. Any reason we should not go with the low bidder? Looking to you, Tom. Nope, it's up to you. You, we, that's what we've used. Here, right? We've used all these people before, right? Yeah. And they're all. She's the one that did down there. Downtown last year. Oh yeah. All right. So I make a motion that uh, we use uh, Jay Hudson for annual summer paving projects. And uh, for, and you're also authorizing the town manager to execute the contract. As part of your motion, right? Absolutely. All right. Sorry, and we have a second? Yeah. That should be decided. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, any more discussion about paving? All right. If they don't stop tearing up my new pavement down on the road. issues. <laughs> All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. 
I know. They, they, they are. There's a bump. There's a bump in the road because there's so much rubber on the road. Oh, right. I've seen that. Hopefully, they get that point. Yeah, well, hopefully, they're going to run out of tires because that ain't going to last very long. <laughs> Yeah, I heard a rumor that the police had maybe had that in hand. Yes, I think they're on it. Yeah. We had uh, discussions. Yeah. Good. Education. It's about education. It is. Uh, Tom, the North Main Street is on the list for this summer, right? Main and Montana. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> North Main is going to be a. I, I know that there's, um, sorry, I just want to go over this yes. briefly. So I know that there's in the bid, there is money for planing or grinding. So we're going to grind it down two inches. And will, will that be enough to get rid of most of the grooves? Mm -hmm. Really? Just two inches? Okay. We can grind it down. Yeah. There's no shame in it. Oh, okay. Level, and then come back through. So that's going to be done after we do the. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. I already had a talk with them and stuff. That's why probably August or so. Yeah. I so that'd be nice. Is it a good time because school starts getting back in session? But it is what it is. It is what it is. It's a good time of year to do it. You know that it's nice and warm. It's a good time of year to. Yeah, they'll yeah, be a little we, late. Well, I told the contractor today that we can't really do any pavement until probably in August. So whether they get here in August. Right. Uh, they're always a little behind by that point. September's so. pretty good too. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. And the and it, is there a plan to have the stormwater actually go into the, the stormwater drains? Because like right now it and when doesn't. When they end up paving and stuff, yeah. they're going to have to try to slope everything to it. Okay. Because then all those catch basins that we're going to fix going up through that we got to re and stuff because it's trying to... Oh, okay. So, so you you guys will do that, right? And then even I mean, once they go through and grind, then it's our turn to go through and kind of not go jackhammer, but we're gonna peel everything the right away from all the catch basins, all the manholes, fix any of the uh, right uh, gate yeah. valves That's and stuff like that. Fixing. So yeah. Okay, because right now I look when it like every time it rains, the water is running right down the road, and it, almost none of it goes into the stormwater drains. All right. Oh, that'll be good. And so none of the painting or anything is going to happen that we've talked about the, with the connector loop thing. Right. It's going to happen until after the paving. So we're going to go through right. the whole summer with right. people just riding from the yeah. LBRT down. At, as On Sunday morning, set six people riding down the middle of North Main. You're allowed to take a lane when you're on a bike. Yeah. Well, they, yeah. We should that. shut it down and ride the down the bikes. <laughs> <laughs> Get them off the road before somebody gets hurt. Uh, Bikers. I know. Actually, went to a talk at the townhouse about how. Um, scorchers. Scorchers, but also the, the bikers were actually a huge reason why roads got improved in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Are we like in the middle of something here? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, wait, did we already, uh, we already voted, right? Did we vote? Yes. No, we didn't vote. Not on, the, not on the sheriff's department. No, not sheriff's, on paving. No, We're all good, paving. right? Yes. On the paving. All right. Let's vote on the sheriff. Next, uh, yeah, we have a new, um, a new proposal for um, next year's dispatch costs for Lamoille County Sheriff's Department for police and fire. Um, and we don't, uh, I mean, typically. We don't have any choice. Well, thank you. That's <laughs> correct. There, there's not another dispatcher, and, um, and we need that service. And they, I believe, do it. I think they, they, they have a formula where they try to proportionally do it to uh, cost out uh, your population and your, right. so yeah, the and your grand list. To say about it, it's the way it is. It's right? just the way it is, right? It's forty thousand, I think, rough, more or less. Forty-four. Forty-three thousand six ninety-six. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's what it was before. Was it? Pretty cool. Yeah, it's not, it wasn't a big increase or anything. Right. But I mean, they do as good a job as they're going to get, so we don't have a choice. I can, you know, they, they really do a great job. They've got some outstanding dispatchers down there. You know, and, uh, again, we don't have much of a choice, but <laughs> they provide a. Right. I, I, that's what I meant. I yeah. didn't mean it negatively. I mean, yeah. yeah. 
I mean, you do have a choice, but it's going to cost like a full load. Yeah. Oh, let's staff it ourselves. Well, you staff it yourself, or if we go to a different dispatch center, yeah. that means right. more antennas, more repeaters, more right. this, more that. Or just further away. Yeah. Well, that's nice to go local, I think, yeah, where people are more likely to know. Even, even for the town park, for town itself, for the road crew and stuff, they've always been great for that. Yeah. Good motion to approve the FY24 and the Moyle County Sheriff's Department dispatch contract for police and fire departments. Second. Any more discussion on that? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. We're starting to see some of the Chittenden County. Agencies get together with their dispatching too. They all used to be independent. Oh, really? Huh. So they're doing regional. That's expensive. Yeah. All right. Um, next, we have our item number six to review the SE Group Phase Two proposal for the pedestrian bridge and park project. Um, so for that, uh, I think we had. We had in our packet, right? Yeah. In our, on our uh, cover letter. In the cover letter. So basically, SE Group has been working on the design of the bridge and the concept for the park. And then this phase two contract is for, um, for, for, for the next four years. Yeah. They're not <laughs> quick. Um, it's for, um, completing the design on the bridge work, doing the bid doc, construction documents, helping us get through the bid process, selecting a... Permitting. Yeah, permitting, all that stuff for the bridge. For the park, I think it's just completing the design. But anyway, um, I know he wants to, he's meeting with them next week, and uh, he, he and Tracy, I think, are, right? Isn't that what they are meeting with them next week, and they're gonna, they have some changes they wanna make to the proposal, but I think what Sherry would like us to do is to um, authorize the town manager to uh, negotiate this and, and enter into a contract with them. We can get closer to the bidding process. Because, yeah, even if we started today, there's still, they've got like a year of stuff cool. here. Yeah. So, do so want, motion do you make, to approve, do you want me to say yeah, that do. again? Or, I, yeah. Or, yeah. or so moved or whatever. Motion to authorize the town manager to acknowledge and accept the phase two, um, uh, what do they call it? Uh, oh. Bridge pedestrian and bridge and park project phase we need two. To name the bridge. Oh, that's a good civil idea. engineering, structural engineering, and permitting is phase two. Right. Can't be the swinging bridge. Second, she said. Well, long shot. So, but you uh, said acknowledge any changes that they would like to see happen that OP is identified. Yes. Amanda, you have that into some sort of understandable <laughs> yeah, motion. Yes. <laughs> Amanda's got it. Second. Okay. Everybody clear on what we're voting yeah, on we're here? Absolutely clear. <laughs> uh, Keep moving. Any more yeah. discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Hopefully, Opie can convince them to move a little faster. Because yeah, um, that would I be. I mean, nice. it hasn't been all their delays, but it's, it has not. That one's been dragged. They all do seem to. That's not even going. All out. the that's projects seem to drag. Big and yellow. That's not even going to that one. Uh, we're going to go to that next because select board reports are coming up next, and Danny has been dying to hear. Yeah. So um, I have pretty high certainty. That the a pretty high confidence that the yellow barn um, tax credit financial closing will happen next week on the 25th of May. Um, um, because just about all the ducks are in a row. Hopefully by tomorrow morning all the ducks will be in a row for that closing. As soon as that happens, then the that basically signifies that all of the, everything is complete and ready to go. And actually, just because of the way the tax credit financing works, all the money to build the entire thing will be sitting in an in account for the, for the project to be built. Wow. 
Wow. So the idea, so even reimbursement grants have to be bridged with loans so that all the money is there in the day of closing. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be a, an account somewhere with an awful <laughs> lot of money in it. Mm -hmm. cool. Is there any interest building on that? We're going to spend a share right now. <laughs> yeah. And when does, when does digging begin? Um, so we, it, there are at least two grants that will not give us a notice to proceed until we can demonstrate that we have all the matching funds, which we won't be able to demonstrate until this closing. So, on the 25th, we should be able to request those, well, we'll prep them beforehand and say, we're gonna close on the 25th and we're gonna be looking for a notice to proceed as soon as possible after that. As soon as we get those two, then we can turn around and give our um, general contractor the notice to proceed. So we're hoping that's a matter of days and that it'll be the following week that they'll be. So while you're on vacation this Yes. <laughs> well, I hope when I come back, there are there gonna be go. excavators <laughs> down there and yeah, just you know, silt so fence and so they don't need the barn's gonna be up in the air. We don't have to tell, let's like, authorize Opie to sign anything that while you're away. Just no, because we've authorized him to sign stuff be before on behalf of the town, and then we have the nonprofit, the Northeast Kingdom Development Corporation, that's signing stuff. That's also not me. Mm -hmm. And okay. then there's a okay. further subordinate uh, cooperation called the Yellow Barn Business Accelerator, and that's also I'm also not the signer for that. Good deal. <laughs> Enjoy your vacation. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to be digging down the yellow back. I hope so. I hope that's where I find you when I come back. Uh, that's where I hope I can make it. <laughs> Other select board reports? Um, I personally, as president of the Historical Society and someone who has been at a bunch of LVRT meetings, I begin to get a little anxious um, that there at the depot, there's, there's going to be the major railhead for trailhead for the town, at least for this season. But we don't have the stuff that we're supposed to have as a trailhead. So and it occurs to me that, you know, like, it'd be nice to have a picnic table. Mm -hmm. um, we're talking about porta potty mm -hmm. to go in there. We're talking about a water thing. Um, and it seems to me that this is sort of the magnitude of pressure that we feel when Tom says, well, this truck is dead. <laughs> we need a new truck. Um, I, just, I just would like for the town to get a little more energy into providing for stuff at the trailhead. Well, we've identified what all those things are. We uh, have. And we need to order them. It'll take a while for them we to We need come. to order them, but we uh, need to order them. We need to get this. To, we've done a lot of talking. It's time to actually start doing something. Do we have funding? Even if it's, even if it's only temporary stuff, mm -hmm. um, I suspect there's, there's funding in the budget. OK. 2000, 2000, 2005 is when I started going to meetings on the LBRT. <laughs> it's finally going to happen. You've just identified the problem. What do we still have? What's that? A lot of talk Same and not a lot of action. Yeah, let's, <laughs> yeah. let's get a plan of debt to plan on going to the bigger tables. Well, we could. We've, like already, uh, we've already identified all the things that we yes, need. Everything's yeah. identified. We just um, need to order the them. trash cans and the a couple of things that we're hoping are going to be matching grant from the solid waste district. We should hear about that in the next couple of weeks, um, and then it's a reimbursement grant, so we can't order it until we know about the grant. Um, but you know the picnic tables could be put on order. It's going to take a while for them to come. So. But at least, at least they'll be on order. So as opposed to I thinking mean, we, about you it, know, we can authorize to authorize the town manager to oh, place the orders. 
Yep. If we if we hang on for another five minutes, you'll be able to instruct him to do that. <laughs> um, we spotted his red outfit. Oh. <laughs> I told him so we were going to be done by the time he was out. Um, I'll jump in. Yeah. <laughs> you want to take his chair? The budget's pretty tight, but I can talk to Casey to see if we can Yeah, I, mean, I agree. Some of the, the budget is. We do have like we have the. Uh, a couple of the bike racks and things like that that we've placed some of them um, but there are a couple of other bike racks on that shopping list um, yeah that's not do we have picnic tables hanging around anywhere Tom? We don't want do we really there's one in the back though. <laughs> well the, the guidelines the guidelines sort of require us at the trailheads to have uh, uh, handicap accessible um, picnic tables and not just uh, any given picnic table. but I think I think we're going to order something, you said. Mm -hmm. and it's going to take a while to come. Mm -hmm. If we had an any old picnic table, right? why not put it there in the interim? Exactly. The, the guidelines also anything. require that we have a solid surface to set it on. We can't just set it on the ground. But it seems to me that a stay mat yeah. um, platform would just do. The not count. And then stay we, mat's not solid either. It's no different than the ground. Yeah. <laughs> solid, solid surface of me would be the a surface. wood deck or a concrete bed. Um, okay. <laughs> we need a picnic table. We could we could maybe do this off camera, <laughs> offline, but why don't you work with a town manager? <laughs> well, to the, the, the work over. has been done. I mean, the work has been done. But it's just to, to get the details. So going. hang on. <laughs> so we need the town manager's report from up the hill. What's the report from the game? We won. Okay, good. Congratulations. Right. You can sit there. Was, there, was everybody, <laughs> was everybody, uh, everybody happy? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, so you're walking in on select board reports. Good. And um, Liz is asking about, she's uh, talking about the trailhead for the Le Lamoille Valley Rail Trail at the depot. Right. And starting to feel like summer is about to be well, upon us. We have two trailheads. Yeah. And so that she's talking about the trip. This one. I'm, I'm, I'm she she squeaking just, about the, she's the depot. About the one here. They're both busy, so we do one thing. We do both things. Yeah. And uh, the, the, we've talked about all the stuff. We've got the guidelines. We what know what we need to do. And this is beginning to feel to me like it feels to Tom when he comes in and says, "This truck is dead. I need a new." That that we need to get some actual action going here. Okay. We've done, you know, we've done a lot of planning. We've done a lot of talking. It's time to get moving. So these guys, they're preparing. They've done a lot of work. Over. They have. Yeah. They have. So I'm thinking the picnic table, uh, the porta potty. If it's going to be porta potty, or get that bathroom plumbed and and yep. going. Wayne, our plumber, is supposed to provide me a quote. Um, I will get on him to get me the quote to get the bathroom going. Um, okay, he, looked, he looked at it several months ago, or a month ago when he opened up the townhouse. Right. So the problem with the material for the parking there is we need to wait until the new fiscal year because we're struggling with that, with the material budget. Right, getting that whole parking place right. laid out and, and yeah. stuff. Yeah, and I'd like to put some fence around the gully instead of filling it. Well, I talked to Tom about filling it in, and I'd like to put a fence around it rather than filling it in. Mm -hmm. And then find a pad. Uh, Tracy and I talked about putting a picnic table near the section house underneath the tree there. Um, I think Tracy has got some pricing on a She's picnic table. Shopping list. And... Um, and uh, trash receptacles, but we're, you know, we're ending the fiscal year right now, so things are a little tight. Mm -hmm. So, but I, I totally agree with you. Yeah. Uh, and but we're further along than people think. Okay. And, and uh, Mike, Michael Reno is going to come next week, and there's uh, some dangerous trees behind the depot. We're going to take those down, and I'd like to clean all that Japanese knotweed out from uh, behind the. Uh, the townhouse, mm -hmm. in between the townhouse and the depot. And we have to truck that uh, somewhere. I'd like to truck it to the dump because I don't want to dump it anywhere because it's an invasive species. And if we dump it somewhere, we're going to have Japanese knotweed somewhere else. 
So. I will. Yeah, you will. So that's where that's my update on the trailhead. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So in terms of the I, actually, hold on, I got more. So I've also submitted. Um, we have a lease, uh, seventy-four thousand square feet up there for this the state of Vermont, and seventy-four thousand and change. Mm -hmm. I've taken out uh, about twenty thousand square feet uh, and submitted it to VTrans for um, so they can. Uh, basically credit us for that that space so we don't have to pay for that lease anymore. Because right. it's for public use. Correct. It's for the rail trail. For the rail trail. Yeah. Yep. And that's for both this one and East Hardwick? Um, East, East Hardwick we don't, we don't have a lease. Rent. But we have to um, Tracy's working on the feasibility study. We have we had identified the area and VTrans is cleaning up some stuff that's in the right of way up there. So once we can identify where we want to you know, what we want to lease, then we have to submit that for their approval, which they've been great. Then it's a zero dollar lease. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's what we've done on the cheap. So um, as far as we need to start spending money because the stuff that we need now is going to cost money. Right. Yeah. Are, you, are you saying um, we're going to order that stuff in the new fiscal year? Mm -hmm. So it's going to be another month before it gets ordered, and it's going to be probably six weeks before it arrives. So you're talking about it doesn't have to be, be but be if we if we yeah. plan on on ordering the picnic tables, you know, July, is there a picnic table for now that we can just put there? Well, the, the, the so I haven't heard about the solid waste district grant. We'll hear about that in a couple of weeks. The right. So the there's the picnic tables and the trash receptacles. No, not the picnic tables. Or table. sorry, the trash the receptacles. Traffic, trash. Right, yeah. The trash. Trash bins. Yeah. So we can definitely order the picnic tables. Would you? Okay. They won't get here before the fiscal year starts. They probably won't get here until halfway through the summer the way the supply chain <laughs> yeah. goes. But we'll we'll get it we'll get it going. Okay. Thank you. Yep. All right. Other select board reports? Old business or new business? I suppose I could report on the <laughs> fact that we went to the outdoor recreation and um, historic preservation retreat last week. Um, there were quite a few good bits of information that we got. It was Tracy, Liz, and myself. Um, but the most exciting one was that there's Vorek uh, grant money coming in the next month or so. So that's another, another round. good re another round of Vorek. So Vermont outdoor recreation, recreation and economic, economic something collaboration. 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 Um, so. That'll be, be good. It was interesting. The It'll Vorek be, people uh, think good. electric. Uh, buys not for our money back. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, what? because of the budget crisis? <laughs> oh. The Vorek people think in terms of economic development and were very much enlightened about <clears throat> how significant recreation is as an economic driver. Well, that is Northern Forest. It was also there, Mike Wilson. Was, yeah. it, was, it, was, it was totally worthwhile. Good. Right. Time's great. He's a man. Wouldn't it be great if they did something about the maintenance and sustainability? <laughs> They've been working on it. I've got an uh, announcement from them. And we, Big we put an announcement on our website when they went and cleared all the dangerous trees. They were working on a. Um, Sinkhole and Walden. They still are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of excavation. And so we posted that. They've been very attentive to when we reach out to contact them on something, I get a reply almost the same day. Sweet. Yes. Working. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Daddy's wrong. Maybe. <laughs> Trust but verify. It's not about being wrong or right. We're, we're just going to follow yes, up. It and is. We're, we're going to trust them and verify that they're Yes, they're going to so find just any job. Yeah. You ever have a new girlfriend? So, um, a long time. so we have just <laughs> oh boy, yes, disruption. We have so um, Monday night we have a, a weigh game in Montpelier over the lakes at the Mountaineer Field. 
Wow. Uh, so that was, it's a fun place to watch a baseball game. Are you inviting us? Yes. I'm inviting the whole community. Excellent. And then um, there's plenty of buses to sit there. And then Tuesday we have, I believe Tuesday is our last home game. It's senior night other than playoffs. So we, we want crowds of people at the Hayes and watching baseball if the weather's nice. Tuesday night. Tuesday night. All right. I think. Awesome. 430. What's your record? You lost one? We are at 11 and 1. one. That's Tuesday afternoon, not Tuesday night. That was a Four bigger days, division, upper that. division, right? What's that? That was Division 1. <laughs> division 3. We're Division 3. Yeah, but you, your loss was a Division 3 school. Too. It was Division 1. Yeah, it was fall. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And we stayed with them. I heard that. <laughs> that was a rumor. Yeah. All right. Other announcements, reports? We got one. You've got one. Uh, this is for fire and rescue. Uh, Monday night, we're going to be doing a mob drill, so nobody freak out. Uh, we'll be down on the rail trail down there uh, doing stuff like for pedestrian accidents for bicycles and stuff like that. So if anybody sees us down here, that's what we're doing. So. All right. Good to know. Get Eric, take a digger. Well, get him going. Be too hard. Stick in his belt. <laughs> Down here. Take a big step. Oh, I saw him. Let's go home and eat dinner. All right. Thanks, everybody. We adjourn.